jumped up, little snot. Go on, you get out of bed if you want to, Ali, old pal. No, no. <laughs> well, why not? What's the point? Why endure one moment more than you have to? Go on, get out of bed, jump up and down, and then hold a pillow over my face and we'll both go together. Come on. Marlow. I had on my best pyjamas. The ones with red stripes and blue forget-me-nots. I was all dressed up on talcum under the armpits. A million dollars was about to call. I was ready for it. Her temperature again, have we? Oh, when she moved her lips like that, I felt like a tulip in the dry season when the first raindrop smacked into it. I decided to open up. Boy, was I green. Or do I mean wet? Oh, I see. Your eyes are not for seeing those mills, they're for being looked at. We're in a good mood, are we? We're actually talking today, are we, Mr. Marlowe? What do you mean? According to a report, you didn't say one word yesterday. Not to anybody, and that's not the first time you've done that, is it? Me? Yes, you. You mean they put that sort of thing on report? Oh, yes. Everything. Is that why they... Go on, ask. Is that why they think I'm a bit touched? Loopy? No. What then? Depressed. Tranquilizers. No worse, those antidepressants, the brain drainers, those head mashers. Is that why they try to make me swallow them? Well, if they help people. I'm not taking those things. Work to do, I've got a lot of thinking to do. If I don't think, I'll never get out of here. I'll. I'll... Are you going to grease me? If you're ready. Ready as a back axle. No. What is it, Mr. Hall? Would you a little over there? No, tell me. You're going to wear us all out, Mr. Hall. You know that, don't you? Now, what is it? Big pardon, my dear. I need the, you know, very badly. Sorry. The uh, contraption, you know. Contraption? What contraption? Tuppence. I want those tuppence. Reginald, would you please go and get a bedpan for Mr. Hall and close his curtains? Got the shits again, have you, Pop? Like being in a tent in here, isn't it? With all the curtains shut. Yeah. And the desert all around. So we do the top or the bottom half first? I don't mind. Still can't get your own pyjamas off, can you? No. All right. I'll start down below first. Right, let's get these trousers off. Try not to hurt. Up you come. Thanks. All right. Let's see. We can start now. Do not crow. Poor cock, do not stir. I'll be as gentle as I can. Oh, think of something boring, for Christ's sake. Think of something very, very, very boring. A speech. A speech by Ted Heath. 
a sentence, a long sentence from Bernard Levin. A quiz by Christopher Booker. Oh, no, 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 no. think, 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 think. Really boring. A Welsh male voice choir. Everything in punch. Oh. Oh, poor thing. Oh, wage rates in Peru. James Burke, Pennington's Wake, all the bloody Irish, the dog in Blue Peter, Brian Clough, and especially James, Henry Ann Clive. Australian barman, ecologist, semiologist. Thing, thing. Guardian Woman's Page. Oh, dear Christ. Yes, yeah. yes, the Bible. And oh, God, Reader's Digest, special draw prize. No, 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 no. Think Bible. Bible Psalms. Song of Solomon by Breast Salah. Oh, no, no. Ah. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Is that too hard? Too hard, yes. It, it's like iodine in a cart. I'm sorry, but it's worst of all just here inside your thighs. Oh. I'm being as gentle as I can. Oh, it's not your fault. No, no. I'm sorry, but I shall have to lift your penis now to grease round it. My mama done told me when I was in pigtails. My mama done told me, hum. On a sweet talk and give you the big eye. But when the sweet talking's done, a man is a two face, a worrisome thing who leaves you. She's a real corker, ain't she, Carlotta? I mean, genuinely artistic. Top hell. And it's right, too, what a girl should be told. I'm sorry. Well, a guy can get very excited, can't he? You're telling me. Oh, but it's all fears. You say anything. Promise the earth. You're not eating, Amanda. No. Well, one can only consume so much, you know. Where do they get this meat, hmm? Real steak. I haven't seen meat like this since before the war. Six long years of spam. You ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Still at all, is it legal or is it horse? Oh. What's up, sugar? I need the gent. Oh, what now? Well, she's nearly done. And I've heard the song. Know where it is, sugar? I'll find it. Toots. Sorry, but I shall have to lift your penis now to grease around it. <laughs> I'm sorry, nurse. I do beg your pardon. It's the one part of me that still sort of functions. I do beg your pardon. Right. I understand. It seems to have a will of its own. We don't need to talk about it, do we? No. How long have you had this? 20, 30 years. As bad as this? No. It's at its peak now, almost. I'm starting to lose control of my body temperature. <laughs> Keep going over the top. Yes. I think... I think I tend to hallucinate a bit. Mm, that happens. I thought there was a cat in the bed this morning. In it, not on it. Meticulously chewing off my toes one by one. I'm trying not to hurt you. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes... These hallucinations are better than the real thing, you know? People can sing in them or dance. I don't mind, I don't mind. I like pictures, I don't care. You write detective stories, don't you? Who told you that? Oh, a little bird? A oh, little bird is wrong. I used to write them, used to. Hey. Got to work. Sorry? I've got to work. A man's got to work. Somehow I've got to work. Hey, now. 
think my mother would have had more sense than to call me Philip, wouldn't you? With a name like Marlowe, Philip Marlowe. <sighs> Hasn't got an E on the end, but it sounds the same. Same as what? Philip Marlowe. You've heard of him, surely. Christ almighty. What else could I have done except write detective stories? She should have called me Christopher. Don't suppose you've heard of him either. <laughs>